So I want to reassure some people who may be into the Scientology content and some people not into the Scientology content, I will touch upon Scientology only briefly here because The Master is a great film. And of course, it is slightly based on Scientology. However, there are just moments of contact. There is no doubt Dodd is based on Hubbard. And Paul is very careful to take selected parts of Hubbard's life. And I think, for the most part, it is judicious. However, is this really a documentary on Scientology and Tom Cruise? No. Is this really an intense look at even cult life? No. But it is an intriguing look at this point of time in U.S. history and California history and how this very bizarre movement that does resemble Scientology took over and has this massive effect on the Joaquin Phoenix character, Freddy. <coughs> so even though so even though the most interesting character is Dodd, this is really Freddy's story and how he gets caught up in the cause, the social movement, and how it affects his psychology, his relationships, and his outlook on life. And I'm making it sound boring. No, this is a very, very funny film. There is so much going on in terms of jokes, humor, a lot of sly visual gags. It's a very intriguing film and not at all boring. However, it is a slow film. If you are expecting all the mysteries or puzzles to be solved immediately, no. This is a film you need to be a little patient with because, again, it is more like a dream that just keeps being played out over a long stretch of time. And I liked it a lot. However, I cannot say this is the best film. Paul is a master of cinema, so of course, you're going to get something amazing just visually and in terms of performances, especially female actresses. Paul is probably one of the best directors with female performers, female characters. And even though the two male characters are the leads, there are a lot of powerful women here. And they are so diverse and so intriguing in their own right. It is a very interesting ensemble piece all the way through. And a very early performance by Rami Malek. So it is quite a visual joy. Spectacular film on history and the intriguing ways that Dodd is manipulating people. But the way people want to be manipulated. The Master isn't about, quote, Dodd. It's about this wanting this ideology that will answer your questions and give you this fantastic cosmic answer to everything and the way that Dodd wants to believe his own mythology but people kind of suspect it's not true I mean at one point a character says yeah he's just making it up and Freddy is disturbed but I don't think he's intentionally deceptive the only deep problem is it makes Hubbard look way too good Hubbard was a pretty sinister guy he wasn't as violent as Miscavige or the current leadership, but he was a hustler and he definitely stole from people. He lied a lot. He had tons of adultery. So this is less brutal towards Hubbard than he really was. However, at least we get a very accurate picture of how cults can recruit people. It's not, again, a documentary, but I think it's very, very informative. So will you learn a lot about Scientology? No. Well, you learn a little bit about Hubbard, yes, but I think it is more about the followers of Hubbard and how they deceive themselves, they want to deceive others, for good reasons and bad. And I think that's the problem with Scientology. People just demonize all these people as robots. No, they are like us. They want different things at different points in time. And that's the strength of this film. It, it takes us on a journey over a very long stretch of time. However, you do have to be patient because, again, the mysteries are there. They're very intriguing, but they're not going to be real or apparent on first look. You have to think through, well, wait, when did this happen? How did that happen? Again, I don't think Paul is making mistakes. I think he is just how much Freddy evolved, but also how little he evolved and how much this is about how you don't want to manipulate people beyond a certain point because you can't. You're always going to get back to your primary nature, and that's the dilemma with Dodd is he wants to create this new fantastic philosophy but he's not really a philosopher. He is just a hustler. So he's going to be doomed to failure. And Freddy wants this sense of order and structure. But at the end of the day, that's really not for him. So it's a very intriguing philosophical film. But it's never boring. You do need to be patient to understand the richness and complexity of The Master.